Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Thanks for subscribing and liking my videos. Today we are going to create e-commerce shop promo part 2. If you haven't watched part 1, check the link in the description. In the couple of next tutorial you will see how I design and animate this e-commerce promo animation. This is the part 2, so make sure to follow along with all the tutorial so you can make that kind of animations. Let's start the tutorial. Open After Effects. If you have downloaded the project file from the link in the description. Open the project file from the link in the description. Make a new composition by 1920 by 1080 pixels. And I will rename this slide too. Let's copy our base from slide 1, and paste this in slide 2 composition. Drag the orange color palette into the project. Drag this color palette into the timeline. Select the rectangle tool. Choose this nice orange color. And make a shape something like this. Now I will apply the set matte effect on shape layer 2. Select the base layer as a matte layer. So now the shape only visible inside our base layer. Open the position tool, make a keyframe around 10 frames, go to the beginning at the animation, and drag the shape out from the composition. Select all keyframe and easy ease them, open graph editor and make your graph something like this, the animation will start faster and end slower. Now let's import our product image. This is the Apple Watch. Scale it down, and reposition. Select the rectangle tool, and make a shape something like this. Apply the set matte effect on shape layer. Select the base layer as a matte layer. Let's make a guideline and center everything on this guideline. Let's type our product name. Adjust the font size and spacing. And reposition this. Select the type tool and make a box something like this. This is our product description. Fill this box with your product description. Adjust the font size and spacing. Make a guideline to the left side, and align text and description. Remove the guidelines we don't need these anymore. Let's make a small circle, set the fill to none. And stroke around 7 pixels.
Align the circle to the left bottom side. Now type the release date. Duplicate the text and type the date. Duplicate this text one more time in type our price. Adjust the font size. Duplicate this and set the second price. Let's draw a straight line by using the pen tool. Change the color of the outline something like this gray. And place this above on our first price. At around 12 frames, select our product image, open position property, and set a keyframe, go 10 frames forward, and drag this image out the right side of the composition. Select all keyframes and easy ease them. Open graph editor and make line something like this, so the animation would start faster and end slower. Open the opacity property, set a keyframe, go a few frames forward, and set another keyframe. Set first keyframe opacity to 0%. Select all keyframes and easy ease them. Select our title text, open position, and opacity properties. Set keyframes like this, go the first keyframe of position and drag our text to the right side. Open graph editor and make line something like this, so the animation would start faster and end slower. Select our product descriptions text, and apply a typewriter effect on this. Make keyframe position, go few forward frames forward. And drag this price down. Open graph editor and make line something like this. So the animation would start faster and end slower. Select both price layers, open opacity, set a keyframe, go few frames back, and set the opacity to 0%. Offset the second layer's keyframe a bit. Now do the same process with our release date. We need to adjust the speed of this orange shape.
cool, select our circle layer, and add a trim path modifier. Open trim path. Set the end value to 0%, go few frames forward and set it back to 100%. Select all keyframes and easy ease them. Open graph editor and make line something like this, so the animation would start faster and end slower. Now select this small shape layer at the left side, and do the same process as we did for big shape layer. Let's make a new composition 400 by 400 pixel, I will rename this logo. Set the duration to 30 second long. Import our logo and place this inside logo composition. Scale it down, until it's fit on this composition. Let's import our logo composition inside the slide 2 composition. Scale this down, and reposition. Let's apply fill effect onto the logo composition, and change the colors something like this gray. Now open the logo composition. Set a keyframe at the beginning, go a few frames forward, and scale this down a bit. Copy the first keyframe and go a few frames forward and paste it here. Alt click on the scale stopwatch, and type a small expression, loop out. Stretch the keyframes so the animation speed will be slower. Select the logo composition, open rotation and scale property, set keyframes for both. Go a few frames backward, set rotation to 240, and scale to 0%. Open graph editor and make line something like this, so the animation would start faster and end slower. Turn on motion blur for all layers. Copy the glass layer from slide 1, and paste it here. Adjust the keyframes,
check the animation, and we are done. In the next tutorial, we are going to design and animate slide 3. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you like please, hit the like button, and consider subscribe. So I can continue making videos like this. This is Motion Studio, and I will see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.